So my name is Francis Satan. Um, I am a postdoc researcher at the Harbor Branch Oceanic Oceanographic Institute in uh, Florida Atlantic University in Florida. So the research we published in PRJ uh, is entitled right now, uh, Using Bioluminescence as a Tool for uh, Assessing Biodiversity uh, in Zooplankton and Dinoflagellate Communities. So essentially we use the bioluminescence produced by zooplankton as a proxy for identifying what species is present in the water column uh, simply by looking at what kind of light is emitted um, instead of using traditional sampling methods like nets or niskin bottles uh, so it's a really different approach and uh, it's it's yielded very nice results uh, as of now as the biggest result was we developed a model where we could um, give the model unknown uh, bioluminescence signatures and the model would output a, a probability of what that species is. So without even knowing what's in the water, just knowing what kind of light is being produced, that model would uh, essentially give us a, you know, to an 80% accuracy, um, an idea of what's in the water. So there's a lot more to be done. Uh, essentially the biggest um, effort that we need to do right now is build a library of these bioluminescent signatures. Uh, to make the model useful and and, uh, and pursuable. Um, but essentially that model prevents or limits the use of um, really, you know, uh, time consuming other methods like net sampling, um, isolation in the lab, microscopic identification, all of that is bypassed uh, when you can use the bioluminescent signatures. So it's really, really a nice shortcut once we have this library that's established. Using bioluminescence as a as a tool for identifying organisms is actually really, really useful because a lot of uh, bioluminescent organisms are responsible for red tides, uh, which, you know, are devastating for fisheries and coastal environments. Um, a lot of organisms are bioluminescent. So using bioluminescence to track down these blooms early on could be extremely helpful uh, in, in, in uh, catching these blooms before they're problematic. Um, and usually that's done with sampling every week or every day even. Um, with bioluminescence, we can have a moored sensor and that would give us real-time data on, on, on that bloom and monitoring it very, very closely.